It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll get a look here at wideout A.J. Brown. He's over 1,100 yards receiving so far and looking for more. It's the Eagles and the Giants. Next on Madden NFL 25. Thank you to Trey Mosley for the introduction. We are indeed excited to welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The regular season ends here. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Long road to get here, but now we are here. The season finale. Playoffs begin next Saturday. So it's time for one last regular season kickoff. In week 18, it could just be so tricky, can't it, Mike? I mean, on one side, you got teams that have the playoffs wrapped up. So week 18, it's a chance potentially to rest some starters or maybe get them out of the game early and get geared up for next week and the start of the playoffs. You got some teams that are fighting for their lives. They need to win week 18 or else their season's going to end. And then on the complete opposite side, you got guys making plans for the offseason, figuring out where they're going on vacation. Week 18 is a tricky thing around the league. A lot of division games, a lot of interesting matchups. And we're just wrapping up stage one of what is a unbelievable NFL season. So the Philadelphia offense set to take over for the first time. And leading them out, their quarterback, it's Jalen Hurts. I think the biggest thing that stood out from last week's game was when they went into the game with an initial plan, how quickly were they able to get away from that when they realized it wasn't working? I think they got a lot of unscouted looks, meaning the defense threw a lot of exotic looks at them, blitzes, different fronts and coverages, maybe things they didn't work on all week. So the key this week is understand what is the defense looking to do today and how fast can we make those adjustments if we're not having early success? Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Here's Gainwell. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. That's Dexter Lawrence in for the tackle. In danger of an opening three and out, they face third and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. That one caught by Smith. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. Let's add that to the list of great throws we've seen out of this quarterback here in the first half. We thought he might be in line to have a good game, especially against this style of defense. But let's be honest, Mike, he's been more than just good. He's been sensational. They'll come up here first and 10. Now Hurts. Going to call his own number. The defense not fighting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. He'll get this one complete to Brown. A gain there of 10 yards. First down, Philadelphia. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. They'll come up here on second down and five. A run with Gainwell. Ninth play of this opening drive, trying to keep it going here on third down. They'll run here with Gainwell. 
And he's going to be brought down right on that yellow line. But the official signal, he's got enough for the first down. Now, Hurts. Catch made there. That's Smith. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, this is how you dream up the opening script. You get the ball first, and you want to go down and set the tone for the rest of the game. Well, looks like the coaches did a great job when they built. And he will fight his way to the end zone. And it's Gainwell. Touchdown, Philadelphia. His sixth touchdown now for the season. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Now return, coming from the 7. Now an opening, has the 30. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Giants offense making their way out for the first time. They're led by the former first-round pick out of Duke, quarterback Daniel Jones. We had a chance to sit down with him this week, Mike. It almost came across to both of us that he wasn't entirely over last week's close loss. And he made the point. He said, listen, playing quarterback in the NFL, you're going to be judged. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. Working from the gun, it's Jones. On the move, past the 40. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 74 yards. Touchdown, New York. Now it's Graham Gano for the PAT. He knocks it through. And the Giants come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. Seven, seven as they kick it off. On the return, here is Anias Smith. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On the ground, Gainwell. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Here's second and six. A tight end in motion now. Now Gainwell. And he will not be able to get free. Picking up only a yard. Now it's third down. Hurts. Pressure gets there. And down he goes. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. 
The Giants offense about ready to get going on their second possession. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Shotgun now for Jones. He'll get that complete to Isaiah Hodgins. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with single Terry. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. Well, that right there, Mike, is your once-a-game reminder of just the importance of short tackling. This run never gets anywhere near where it ends up if that initial hit was stronger and he was able to take him down. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll go back to Singletary on first down. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no game. The integrity of the defense, Mike, is based on every defender holding their gap. That's exactly what we saw out of this defensive tackle. Not only did he hold his gap, he's able to shed his block and make the play. They just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but... I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. A fourth down, it's hammer time. The Scottish hammer. Jamie Gillen on to kick. As they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Paris Evans on the scoreboard and we're back in Philly in a moment first in ten here's Perks the pressure gets there and down he goes a sack the offense is trying to stretch the field vertically. They're trying to put as many receivers into the coverage deep as possible. But you know what you need? You need time. You need to allow those guys to get downfield. But when you have a pass rush like this, they don't let that time unfold. And that pocket collapsed and results in a sack. Mike, I have to be honest. When offenses come up with run play designs, blocking the corner is not really a big priority. But in this case, great job, not only forcing it on the outside, but defeating the block, coming up and making the tackle. And oh, big hole, left side. And he will dive into the end zone. 90 yards. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A huge play there. They go in the air. We only see a few touchdowns of that length all year. They go from backed up to in the end zone for a touchdown. It is, Mike. In this case, most teams are saying, let's just pick up a first down, at the very least give our punter some room out of the end zone. But not this guy. He's thinking taking it to distance, and that's exactly what he was able to do. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. And he's got it at the one. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Ready 
from their own 23. They'll begin first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. They'll try again here. Second and 10. From the gun, it's Jones. Trying to avoid the rush there. He's hit as he threw when the pass is incomplete. It is third and ten. Now Jones. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. I think the most frustrating element to all of this is when you look downfield, there's guys open. There's plays to be made downfield in the passing game, but quite frankly, the pass protection has just been so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of any of it. That'll be returnable from the 35. Oh, looks like he may have had a seam for a moment, but he's taken down after a solid return. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And he has been effective with the ball in his hands all season long. The NFL's leader among quarterbacks in touchdown score. Out of the gun. Here's a run up the gut. They converge on him quickly. They'll only get a couple. Avon Thibodeau with the stop. Second down and eight. the pistol it's Gainwell he'll take this down to the 47 Deontay Banks comes up to make the play what can they do here on third down and seven throwing is Hurts that's to the left side and taken in by Smith that's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down so far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. On first down, it's Hurts. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Mike, anytime you're preparing to play a quarterback like this, the defense has to be prepared to keep him in the pocket. Once he gets out, we can see clearly why he is such a threat with his legs. They'll run the sneak, and he's able to get the ball across the goal line. He's in. Jalen Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. A lot of bodies down there, but there's one with the football. The quarterback, it's all that matters, breaks the plane for the touchdown. And all that quarterback is looking for, Mike, is the smallest of creases before that snap. Once he identifies it, all that's left to do is put your head down, get behind the big boys up front, and drive the legs across the goal line. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. He'll start at the two. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants offense ready to get back to work. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. A good spot here, second and a yard. Throwing now is Jones. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down.
Now Jones on the bootleg. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Again, it's Jones. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. 11 yards as they move the chains. Again, they'll throw with Jones. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Jones to the air again. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where he oh, tried to fit in the slant, and it was intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Reed Blankenship. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. You're defending your own goal line. You've got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And he is in the midst of a sensational season, currently second in the NFL in passing yards. They'll begin here on the ground. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. To throw is Hurts. In trouble, and down he goes. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Third and long for Hurts. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. He's had a lot of success throwing the ball early with the numbers. Already up over 200 passing yards. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia right after this. A first down throw for Hurts. That's complete to his running back, Kenneth Gainwell. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. To throw on second down is Hurts. That's caught by Smith on the right side. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Again, Hurts. Quickly to the outside and complete. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch. And he'll take it on in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points.
So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This placed in the back of the landing zone. He'll return it from the one. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Giants offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. From the 25, they'll go to work first and 10. To throw, it's Jones. He's going to tuck it and go. So a big one there to start the drive. Now a timeout, Giants. That is their second, 31 yards. Throwing on first down is Jones. A throw here, right side, falls incomplete. On second down, here's Jones. This one is caught by Hodgins. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Here's first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Jones. That's to Robinson. He's got it. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Here's second and two. Shotgun now for Jones. That's to the sideline. Taken in by Johnson. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but... That is intercepted. Picked off by the Kobe D. He gets free. And he is going to score a pick six for the touchdown. And they extend the lead. The defense joining the party. A pick six for a touchdown. Greg, they are extending this lead out. Yeah, and now you've just seen both sides just make their impact felt here in the first half. The offense has done their part, and now it's the defense that is able to capitalize on the turnover and take it all the way back for the pick six. Here's Elliott for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Eagles add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Here comes a return from the three. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Giants offense going to take over just before the half. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Now Jones throwing on second down. And he'll let it go deep for Johnson. I know it fell for an incompletion, but pretty impressive. He was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit it really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has so the Eagles will use their first time out here and it'll come with 15 seconds to play in this first half here's Jamie Gillen on now as he's on to punt for the Giants this one fielded out beyond the 25 and he's going to be brought down after a short return and that's where his team will get possession of the football on first down it's Hurts he's going to look for the home run ball that's going to wind up incomplete not much time remaining time for one more snap here in this first half how often do we see teams kind of nurse these big leads, Mike, especially as the game unfolds, they turn to the ground game, they try to slow everything down. Well, not this offense. They refuse to take their foot off the gas. They're still mining for explosive plays, and frankly, with the way today's gone, I don't blame them. Half time here on this final weekend of the NFL regular season as we'll head down the coast now to Orlando 
That's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll start over in Texas at AT AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And it's the visitors who are out in front in the second quarter. Jahan Dotson, a touchdown reception. From there, we head up to the Motor City to check in on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Amon Ross St. Brown, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Titletown, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Christian Watson with a touchdown reception from Jordan Love. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback. That's Jalen Hurts. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half, because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. Both these teams running through their final... Adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The visitors' offense and Daniel Jones ready to get going once more. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice forced into a number of bad throws and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. So they come to the line for first down and 10. He'll give it to Singletary to begin this drive. Has an opening past the 40. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Jones now on first down. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Malik Neighbors, the intended receiver. And it'll be second down. Jones. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. 
Off balance throw. It's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40 yard line. On the give, it's Singletary. He looks forward for maybe a yard. Nicobe Dean in on the tackle. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, it's Jones. He'll look deep here for neighbors. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. Throwing is Jones on third down. And that is incomplete. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, they've already turned the ball over through the air. Truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, they're lucky it hasn't been even more. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming for the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. They'll throw here on third and short. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. They will indeed go as they look to throw. That is incomplete. They took a chance throwing it on fourth and short, but not to be, and they'll turn it over on downs. On first down, Jones. Throw left side, that's Johnson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Here comes Singletary running right. He's going nowhere. Gonna lose yardage on that play. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Here's Jones. A throw on the move is caught. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. On first and 10, here's Jones. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances. To the goal line and in. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, New York. Gano on to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Giants are able to cut into the deficit. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Smith to return it. He'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Eagles offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They've definitely outplayed their opponents to this point in the third quarter. They might be looking to grind out some first downs and chew up some valuable time on the clock. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. 
Here's Shipley. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. Lane close quickly. And here comes third down. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and five. They'll look to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here comes the Eagles punty. As he's on to punt for the second time. And he's going to make a fair catch just beyond his own 40-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. Now, Jones. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. Early in this drive, they're trying to establish some offensive rhythm, but now after that second down sack, really puts them in a must pass. You don't want to be in third and long very often in the NFL. It's not a very high percentage conversion rate, and with the danger of a three and out, they better hold up here in pass protection. The Giants sending out their punter. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Eagles offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll do so with first and ten. Uh-oh. He'll dodge one would-be tackler and wind up getting a nice gain of six on the play. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. They'll come up now for second down and four. Once again, they'll give it to Shipley. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Andrew Phillips in on the tackle. Third and a yard. Another carry here for Shipley. And it looks like he's got enough for the first down. Let's wait for the mark. Yes, that run, that's enough to move the chains. A carry here for Shipley. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a gain of about one. That's Bobby Okereke there for the stop. On the ground, this is Shipley. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. But now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. They'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. So, three quarters now in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up here first and ten. Let's go now. now this time they'll look to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I think this defense is wondering where some of these missed throws were earlier in the game. I mean, for a while, it seemed like everything the offense did hit. And after that last incomplete pass, although this game's all but over, this defense will certainly take it. 
And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. On the handoff, it's Shipley. Not much happening there. Tackled at the 17. Hook him up on a second down and eight. They'll run with Shipley. And he will score. Will Shipley. Touchdown, Eagle. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with. But with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. Elliott now for the extra point. And he missed it. It's no good. One of the few things that's gone wrong so far. So they're unable to add one more point onto this big lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. Things not looking good. But let's see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Now, Jones. Throw right side, taken in by neighbors. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Really nice play there by Malik Neighbors. And when we talked to the head coach, Brian Dable, what did he tell us? He said, I need more competitive guys. I need guys that are going to go out there and compete for the ball, play in and play out. And remember, Mike, this is a guy that led college football in yards per game last year at over 120 yards receiving per game. So they got themselves a pretty special talent here in New York. And I think we're just scratching the surface. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Nice pick up here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run here with Singletary. And this one's blown up. It's back at the five-yard line now. Just feels like this has been the story of the day for this offense. Just unable to get anything going on the ground. And a big reason they find themselves trailing and... Another loss of yards. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Jones now on third and goal. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the past. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. They'll give it here to Shipley. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. And what's that one thing you hear from coaches all the time, Mike, right? Finish strong. And he's doing just that. His numbers here in this one, they have been terrific. But he's going to give you a full four quarters. And I think at this point in the game, he knows there's even more yards to be had. 
They'll go three tight ends here on first and ten. They'll stay on the ground. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Here's Gainwell. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Here's third and seven. He'll drop to throw. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. 18 yards on the connection. Good for an Eagles first down. They'll turn and hand this one off. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. They'll run here with Gainwell. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Now Gainwell. Powerful running there. Stiff arming his way for a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. They put Campbell in motion. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And nice work here. He's got the first down. Down to about the 30-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. First down, here's Shipley. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. Putting the tight end in motion. Second down, this is Shipley. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. It's a game of three. Brings up third and eight. He'll try to get this one on the ground. The offense is staying right there. They're going for it. Fourth and a couple. Here we go. One final play. That's taken in. And he'll be brought down there. And that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So to win here for the Eagles. And finish off the regular season in grand style. They are division champions. Get a home game next weekend. Wild card round of the NFL playoffs. to easports.com. The Eagles are winners, as we say so long from South Philly.